Hey guys, what's happening? Got a video today for you on this uh, 21 uh, Ram 3500. 100% stock minus the wheels and uh, clear bra and tent. But uh, this video is about the Edge Insight and the exhaust temperature probe. So let's pop the hood here and So, you can, in fact, install one of these on a stock truck with the EGR cooler still in place. If you can see it, it's be right down in there. So we can get it. There you go. There it is. Now, normally, as some of you guys probably already know, when you put these probes in, you do it when a truck's deleted and you don't have this EGR cooler in the way. And there's a block-off plate there and you just put that probe in the block off plate. And that probe is in between uh, cylinders five and six. Well, where I put the probe is also between five and six, just on the side of the manifold and not on the top. But it'll give pretty much the same readings, I would assume. And the only way I found to do that is coming from the side. Um, you might be able to do it from the bottom, but you're gonna have to have like two, two and a half feet of extensions. Uh, that's, I just, Looked at it and said that's not going to work. But I was able to take this liner out. Uh, you know, you got two of these. One there and one over right there. And the rest is just screws. Uh, kind of a pain to do, but it does come out. And if you remove the tire, it makes it a lot easier. I didn't. I didn't use a jack. I didn't use, I just, you know, a pretty small guy. So I was able to get in there and do it. Uh, the drill wasn't anything fancy. It wasn't a small drill. Just DeWalt. Pretty good sized actually, and uh, but I was still able to get in from the side right in through here and drill and tap it and get my probe in there, so it can be done. <clears throat> okay, now why would I want to do that on a stock truck? Well, simply because I want to know uh, what the EGTs are on a stock truck. We're always told that uh, if you leave a truck alone, it'll treat you good. Uh, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about gauges and monitoring this stuff because, uh, you know, Ram, Ford, Chevy, these guys all know what they're doing and they build reliable trucks and you don't have to worry about it. Well, I call BS on a lot of that. Um, they build crappy products all the time. Recalls after recall after recall. And, uh, you know, Ford's had its good share of problems with its last few diesels and and uh, kind of left the customer on the hook for it. So uh, they're not perfect either. And uh, so it's just something I wanted to know. And I got a couple of buddies of mine that also wanted to know what, you know, what does it, what does it do? So now I have the probe and now I can uh, figure out what temperatures are. So I uh, just got it installed. Uh, the monitor and the EG, uh, EGT probe came in um, separately. So I got this installed first, then the next day, which was last night, um, I got the probe installed and then I tried, um, I finished it up this morning. Took it for a drive, empty, not towing anything, and uh, got on the freeway. As soon as I got on the on-ramp and straightened out, I put it to the floor. And uh, again, stock tuning, stock, this truck's 100% stock. And I get up to about 100 miles an hour before I start getting to traffic. And I got to back off. During that time, um, it, the temperatures didn't increase rapidly like you may see on a tune truck, but they did increase to up over 1,300 degrees. And if I would have stayed in it to maybe 110, 105 maybe, I think it might have hit 1,400. So, um, yeah, <laughs> stock truck will get high EGTs. Um, you see videos done by TFL truck where they go up the Ike gauntlet there in Colorado and, uh, you know, they're pretty much, uh, running those about as hard as you, you can. I mean, that's a pretty nasty, nasty climb. And of course they don't worry about EGTs. They never monitor that, which I wish they would. I wish they would monitor more of that stuff so we can just see how does a truck, truck do stock on something like that. But anyway, um, they got some good videos, but. Uh, I wish 
they would show more of the details on some of that stuff, um, which is why I put the probe in is so I can find out uh, what a stock truck does. Because to me, if you're towing a lot of weight and you're going up those hills all the time, you're going to be running well over 1,200 degrees. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see it. I've got a about a 15,000 pound toy hauler. You can kind of see right along the side of this uh, truck there and be on my wife's car there. Weighs about 15,000 pounds. Plus, it's got a big nose on it, like all these toy haulers do, and you know has a lot of wind drag. So it, it's quite a tow, uh, especially if you're going into the wind. And I'll be curious to know when I take my trip here, uh, here in a few days from Idaho to Mississippi, going through um, Utah and Wyoming and Nebraska, and then down from from there, um, what my EGTs are pulling that trailer. But just stock, they got a lot hotter than I expected. You know, I didn't think that was going to be something I'd have to worry about. And, and uh, you know, we're always told once you get to that 1250, 1300, you better start backing off. You're going to melt something. And I think that stems from the fact that aluminum supposedly starts melting at about 1250 degrees. So that's kind of where that comes from. Well, uh, clearly on this truck, and I'm going to assume the Ford runs even hotter. I'd, I'd bet somebody a $100 bill that the power stroke runs hotter than this Ram does. So, you know, if I got this thing up to 1300 full throttle, I bet you that Ford is 14, maybe even 1500 all stock. Um, I have not seen anybody put a, a gauge in the right position and monitor those. It'd be real difficult to do on a Ford with everything intact. It may not even be possible to get to anything unless you want to take everything apart and then put it all back on. And that's just a, a lot of work. So we'll probably never know that, but you know, most of our temperatures are going to come from, from trucks that have been uh, deleted. But uh, anyway, that's, that's pretty hot. So we'll see what it does pull on that, that trailer. But uh, uh, I think, you know, I think uh, if a guy was doing that on a regular basis, day in and day out, pulling grades like that, uh, and had his foot to the floor because he was told you don't have to worry about it on stock truck, I don't think his truck's going to last very long. So I still think you got to have some common sense, even with a stock truck, and, uh, you know, take things in consideration. Um, and clearly, uh, even a stock truck can get some pretty high EGTs. Now, maybe uh, these trucks can run a lot hotter. Maybe this 1250, 1300 is, is a bit... Uh, a bit conservative and maybe we don't have to be as worried about temperatures as a lot of us have been in the past um i don't know that but anyway time will tell on that and uh i want to see what this thing does tone and i'll i'll have done that here in a few days now uh this edge insight let me get to this thing now doesn't completely work well it doesn't really work at all on a on a 21. Uh, it worked on my grandpa's 2020 and Several other vehicles we've we've got these on. Uh, most of the trucks that we have gauges, we have the CTS-3. But I like the smaller thing, um, not taking up so much space. On my 17, I had a nice, uh, there was a, a molded plastic piece that, that fit right in here. And this device sat right here on my 17. It looked factory, looked stock. Uh, you couldn't really see it. Um, I like that kind of look. So, and with the Ram, any of you guys know that have a Ram, when you get this, you know, the, the load, more loaded up models, like, a, I don't know if the Bighorn has it, maybe. I don't know what models have it, but they do have different screens. And on the more loaded, more loaded up models, you have this better screen. And you can set it up to pretty much monitor all the important stuff. Most anything you want to see, you can monitor it without fumbling through different menus. Uh, the Ford I had, which I had for about a month, uh, 21F350, before trading it for this, um, you couldn't monitor much. There was just a few things you could monitor, but if you wanted to monitor anything else, you had to fumble through uh, the menus to look at it separately. Well, on the Ram, with at least option with this screen, you can monitor uh, oil temp, oil pressure, coolant temp, tranny temp, miles per gallon, uh, turbo boost. I mean, so much stuff all on the same screen and not have to fumble through anything. So you get one of these, and then you can add a few more things to that list and not have to fumble through anything. You can you can just at a glance of a 
of an eye, you can look at all the parameters. Um, the other thing I really like about these is you can you can watch torque converter lock up, and I like to see when torque converters are locking and unlocking, and and by doing that, that's really helped me see the difference between the 68 RFE trans and the Eisen, which this truck has. Um, I had good luck out of my 17 at 113,000 miles when I traded it, had no problems. The training was doing good, which, you know, uh, I was impressed with because I ran that truck at a 200 horse tune all the time, even towing this toy hauler, uh, 15,000 pounds or, or equipment. You know, I just used some common sense and watched my temperatures and, and sometimes I had to back off, but, uh, it, it did good. So, uh, but with the gauge and being able to monitor some of this stuff, you can really see the differences on how a different truck reacts and how the trannies react. And I just hated the way the 68 shifted. It shifted. Um, some people like it. Everybody says they think it shifts faster and think it shifts better. I think the Eisen shifts better. Um, the thing is when the Eisen shifts, it's, it does a late second gear lockup. And then every shift after that is locked with a torque converter. There, there's no you know, revving, revving to the moon and the truck's not going anywhere, just a bunch of noise, it, it puts a power down. So I like the Eisen for that. And it, it, uh, it works just like the Allison. When you, when you watch lockup strategy on the Eisen, uh, and the Allison, they're identical. You know, other, obviously RPMs are going to be different because they're on the Chevy uh, Duramax, but, um, anyway, so anyway, there, there's a lot of cool things you can monitor on this. And EGTs is another big one that I think is important. So, but the problem is on these 21s, you can't monitor much of that. Now I'm going to demonstrate uh, what my problem is with this. And I, I tried a different cord, different wiring out of a truck that I know was working. I tried um, a CTS-3 out of a power stroke. And then I took this device and I tried it on... Um, at 06 Cummins and a Power Stroke. And my wife's going to interrupt my video here. Oh, I'm getting ready to go. I'm going with your grandma. So okay. You have dogs and Ethan. Okay. And Courtney may or may not go. She'll probably go. Dakota's going. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Ah. Always get interrupted. Okay. So, anyway. As you notice, there's no power and it is unplugged down there and I'll, I'll get to that. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the truck just to the accessory mode and I'm going to plug this in. Okay. There you go. Now this truck's been sitting a while, so that's why the EGTs are low and it's not running, obviously. But the EGT does work. Now, if you look, I have nothing else there I can monitor. Um, because again, there there's issues with 21s and Edge has not figured it out. They claim their Edge Insight uh, juice with attitude, which I, I assume comes with emission and tack tuning. Um, I guess there's some stuff you can monitor with it, but they haven't figured out uh, how to monitor these 21s with just the gauge setup on these other devices. So, uh, anyway, I couldn't monitor really anything um, except for this. Now, um, and it was kind of a chore to do this. Uh, not sure how to exactly do this. So, here it is. If I want to go back to the screen before where when it fires up, it gives you an option to select Ford, uh, Ram, well, it says Chrysler, Dodge, and then Chevy. And then you click on it and it goes through its system. Well, once you have are in the system that I'm, I am currently, you can't, you can't back out. It won't let you go back out of this. So I can show you what the problem was. So the way I have to do this, <clears throat> oh, oops, that's not what I have to go down to settings. Then I have to go to factory reset. Yep. Okay. 
And then um, again, I don't think it'll take me back. Let's see. Nope. Try it again. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to unplug it. Plug it back in. Again, the truck is still in the ACC mode. So it's going to fire fire on. There's my screen that I can't get back to. But this is, if you just hook it up, you might use some updates and, and whatnot. But once it's set up, this is what you do. Okay. Now the system that I was in, okay, was this clear down here. If I select this, then it puts me in the mode that I was in where I can watch my EGTs, but nothing else. That's the only way I can get this to work. So I'll, I'll demonstrate what, what happens. They're only faster than this, but just things don't work, quite work normally um, on this truck, so it kind of confuses it a little bit. All right, so there you go. Now, the problem I have, first of all, it's two problems. Um, when you, okay, when you select new PDIs here, okay, um, you have a whole list of stuff you can monitor. And I'm going to go through this list so you guys can see what you can monitor. Um, now, why I'm here, I want to point something out real quick. This EAS, EGT, this is the probe that I installed. This option won't show up unless you've got it plugged in. So if you don't have the EGT probe plugged in, you're scrolling through this trying to find this. Uh, it, it's not going to be there. you got to plug it in first. Now, if this system was up to date and working, I think you would have other options like the factory EGTs, which aren't really in good positions. They're all um, post-turbo, after the turbo, and they're, you know, they're in the exhaust. Not, in my opinion, not where they should be as far as getting a good temperature reading. So, um, anyway, they're there may be more options. And so as we continue down here, um, you'll see there's really not, uh, you know, and then like your, your transmission uh, gear selection, it tells you what gear you're in and what the torque converter is doing. That's not an option. Okay, that's all the options. Okay, so on this truck, because Edge hasn't got things figured out yet. I don't know why. I mean, his truck's been around for probably a year. Probably the first trucks hit, uh, you know, in the fall. And so, I mean, I, I guess these trucks have been out, you know, a year from now. But it's taken them a while to get this figured out for some reason. So, anyway, you, you don't have much of a list and it doesn't work. So, what I do, I'm going to select this. See, nothing. It freezes. Completely freezes up. Won't won't do nothing. Okay. Now, if I if I just went into this screen and I hit the home button to go back, it would also freeze. So I can scroll up and down, but once I go to move out of this list or select it, it it freezes every time. And what's funny though is the other day, yesterday when I was first putting this in. This dumb camera is not focusing, but when I was first getting it set up, um, I was able to go in here and select. Well, at first it didn't work, and I unplugged it three or four times. I don't, I don't remember if the key was on, if it was, if the truck was running. I don't remember that. But it, after I fought with it, it did come on, and I was able to select a few of these options. But I didn't have this as an option yet because I didn't have the EGT yet. So, anyway. I somehow got uh, three different things that I, I could monitor and I got them to show up and it seemed to work. But then this morning, after I'd had this probe hooked up, 
Um, I have not been able to get it to re to duplicate that, and I just can't get it to work. It doesn't work. So the only thing I can get to work is this EGT. And again, I'll go, well, I got to unplug it. Okay. I've tried all kinds of combinations and I cannot figure it out. And like I said, I put this unit on two other trucks and it worked. I put their units on this truck, same thing. Um, tried to cord. So anyway, it's, it's something with this truck. Okay, so instead of going to the Chrysler Dodge, like I said earlier, I got to go here. <clears throat> and that's just going to monitor your EGTs. So then I have to go and select what I want. Okay, and I want to monitor... So that's the only option it has. Oh man, this dumb phone. Okay. So that's the only thing I can I can select. But in this form, it doesn't freeze. It does what it's supposed to. So I'll go back. There, there's my GTs. Now the truck's cold, so obviously, uh, like I said, it's reading low, but um it's 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 working. The only downfall to this is even with the key <clears throat> off, it won't shut off. I let it sit out here for about 20 minutes, come back, it was still on. So, um, <clears throat> I have to unplug it. <clears throat> so, that's what you're going to have to do every time you shut the truck off is unplug that stupid thing. Otherwise, you're running your batteries down. And then, it'll fire up <clears throat> all by itself. Okay, there you go. But again, like I showed you earlier, if I want to back out and go to the home screen, it won't let me go. It won't let me. So you got to reset it. In fact, reset it to go back. So anyway, uh, that's the situation with these 21s. And I uh, thought it might be good for me to go over the situation, uh, what works, what doesn't. And that indeed, you can put a EGT probe in with uh, out removing any of the emission stuff. So anyway, uh, hope this is helpful. Um, I'll report back if anything changes. Uh, if Edge Insight gets, if uh, they get some updates going and figure things out, I'll, I'll post back up and I'll probably do another video once I get this trip done and uh, kind of let you know what the EGTs did uh, towing the trailer. So catch you later.